welcome to the channel we are in the old man's kitchen that's right we are fixing a womp up you listening to me womp up a batch of chili that's right look here i got 10 million cans i gotta start ripping open yeah we're gonna get all of them open and i'm gonna get them in that's baby earl right there that's not big earl big earl's 20 times bigger than that that's baby earl and that's the grandson earl the third and i got the frying pan ready for the meat gonna get everything out cans open put in here see where we're at i've got some stuff from my garden what do we got there green peppers we got some cayenne we got some tomatoes peeled more peppers bell peppers so we're gonna get this chili going now you're saying Dog man, you're on a diet. You can't eat no chili. Boo butter. Chili is very good for you, man. It's got all kinds of good stuff in there. And yeah, I'm going to eat some chili. You let me worry about losing weight because I'm doing it. But chili has, especially if you put a lot of hot peppers in it like I do, those are very good for you. Those are very good for weight loss. Uh, I'm not on a diet guys. I am not on a diet. If you if, if you want to say I'm on a diet Yeah, I'm on the 70s diet the 60s diet the 50s diet Before all the processed foods homemade cooked meals people were not overweight There were no overweight people until the 80s the late 70s the 80s and now it's just like Everybody's grandkids. I, I see pictures on Facebook. You know, they're posting pictures of their grandkids they're huge uh, because nobody is cooking them home cooked meals anymore and restaurants are too plentiful you know we were lucky if we got to go out to eat once once every month uh, but it wasn't like it is now so a diet no I'm just I, I have cut out a lot of things like milk and bread and things like that but man I'm not gonna I'm not gonna quit eating the things I do just gonna make, eat less of it and that's a nice thing about chili because usually one bowl you're full it's so filling all right man i'm gonna get some of these cans open i'm not gonna film that whole process and i'll see you when they're all in the pot all right every i know the lighting is bad uh we'll just have to bear with me here i'm just gonna put a little i got everything from the cans in the beans i put a little bit of liquid smoke don't want to use a lot of that and always Louisiana hot sauce. Don't be shy. Put that stuff up in there. Some pepper. And I'll come back and worst the shire. A little bit of that in there. Don't overdo it. Chili powder. Just pour it all in there. I'll add more. This is a uh, McCormick Cajun seasoning. Yeah, we can put a little bit of that in there. And paprika. We'll put some paprika in there. And I'm going to mix all that up. I'm going to get the meat going. Get the meat fried up. Then we'll uh, put her on. A, I'm going to get this on the back burner. Get it heated up. Start heating it up. And it'll cook for several hours. I'm going to eat this for lunch. Mmm, let's go. Alright, so I got my meat frying up that is 80% lean ground chuck. And in here, I'm going to tell you what we got in here. You see these seasonings there? Uh, if you remember when I processed my hot peppers from my garden, dehydrated them and made spice, there it is. I put a card up in the video here. You can go check that video out if you haven't seen it. So we're going to mix that in. So we've got chili beans we've got ranch beans we've got dark red kidney beans in there we've got red and green bell peppers i've got a couple of habanero peppers i left those almost whole so i don't accidentally eat one because i've done that they are orange and trust me you don't want to put a whole habanero in your mouth uh, and you've seen the spices that i added now we're going to add four pounds of that ground cook and then I'm gonna freeze a bunch of this after it cooks probably let it sit in the pot overnight and then put some in the freezer mm. 
And what's bad is I can't find the habanero. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna bite into one of them dudes. I should have left the stem on it. That looks like a tomato. Well, I guess I'll know when I eat it. So that's what we got in there. Let me get this meat added. Alrighty. Alright, let's add this meat. My favorite part. Get in there. Don't want to lose none. Chunky, meaty. Mm. It's gonna be a hot batch. I ain't kidding you, man. Look at it. There's a habanero right there. You don't want to bite into that bad boy. I'll probably yank them out after they've cooked in there for a few hours. Yeah, I have done that before. Never forget it. Put the whole dude in my mouth. See, there's one there. Keep that dude up on top. All right. Put the lid on it, let her heat up. Ooh, doggy. Thick, meaty. Let this cook a little longer, and then what I'll do is I'll get me a little bitty sample bowl and I'll taste on it. See what it needs. I did add a little tiny bit of sugar for the acid. Yeah, and I was a wimp. I yanked them out of there, the ones I could find. There's still a half of one in there somewhere. I found you. Yeah, I don't want to go through the what I did. I was living in Florida. We were having like a hurricane party and I made three different batches of chili. One was mild, one was hot, one was super hot. Because I like it super hot. And uh, I had those in there. And it was like the next day I was eating a batch, bowl of it. I put the whole pepper in my mouth, chewed it up. And all I could do for the next hour was just stand over the sink, man. I thought I was going to die. It was, oh, it was rough. And I can handle hot, but I don't care who you are. You're not going to chew up a whole habanero. Them dudes are pretty dangerous. <laughs> but they do add some good heat to your chili. All right. Next thing you see, we'll be putting some in a bowl. All right, there's my little testing bowl. Just a little bitty thing, I'll fill it up. Let my taste buds go lapping on it. Does it need more hot stuff? Does it need this? Does it need that? This is how I determine it. I'll probably go through two or three of these. Yeah, just testing it. All right, that's how I do that. All right, here we go. Boy, that was my bowl. I'd really lose weight, wouldn't I? I could use this bowl, but I could fill it 900 times. That would work. Uh, give me the illusion. Now, right, let's see. Hey, that made my nose itch.
first one. I don't think I need to do a thing. Not a thing. Dogs don't eat chili. Rooster, they don't. She's down here. Mmm. It's definitely got kick. Mmm. All right, guys. I approve. It's a good day to make chili. It's going to be a good week for chili. So make some chili. Can't hurt you. If you haven't subscribed, if you want to, subscribe. Give me a like. Give me an unlike. I don't care. Happy trails. You got to see her. Dogs don't eat chili. They don't. One sniff, that ought to run you off. Yep, that worked. He says, okay, Daddy, I don't want chili. Happy trails, guys.